Salutations readers, welcome to welcome back to my channel. My name is Nketi and for today I'm going to talk about some stats and reflections for the middle of the year. So kind of consider this video as like a part two to the mid-year book tag and I will link down below a few videos related for this video. So for sure my mid-year book tag if you haven't seen that already and also my 2024 goals video. And I also want to thank G from Book Roast for creating the call pile system because that's also where I got a lot of my stats and data as well partially from Storegraph but also from call pile and also from my own spreadsheet. So just want to give credit where credit is due. So I think that's all the preamble I have for y'all. Now let's actually get into the stats. Now for stats, I only have reading stats and I have my series tracker, which is from Compile, and buying and savings tracker, which I been tracking myself. So let's start with my reading stats. So I have read 52 books as of like June 30th, which is pretty average so far. I've been reading about 50-ish books within the middle of the year, so this is good. And I've DNF 21 books, which is not overly a lot. I feel like this is a pretty solid amount of DNFs. Although maybe I should be DNFing a little bit more so I don't find so many middling books. Now pages read, I did not get this number from Storygraph. This is more from Copile since the Copile system does allow me to include mixed media. So I have been doing some habit reading, which includes physical and like an audiobook or an ebook in an audiobook. So I'm able to at least count that. So pages read, I have read 10,839 pages. And also for hours listened, I've listened to about 334.25 hours worth of audiobooks, which was calculated from Copile as well. And then my average rating is 3.6 stars. That's definitely a low average rating for the middle of the year. I'm used to having a four star and higher for sure. But yeah, this is this is pretty low, which is not good. I am hoping that for the second half of the year, things are better. I find better reads. Now speaking of my reading, let's actually go to my reading moods, which I got from Storygraph. So my top five are adventurous, emotional, dark, mysterious, and tense. Adventurous, emotional, dark, and mysterious are pretty much interchangeable as far as like their ranking. Adventurous is always number, usually number one. Tense is a new one, so that's interesting. Uh, let's see, as far as genres, which also I got from Storygraph, I did have to take out like the fact that young adult and queer counts as genres there. They're not really as much, so I kind of like took that out of the running. So top five is fantasy, of course. Romance, which is surprising. Horror, even though I don't read a lot. I haven't been reading as much horror, but it was number three. And then we have historical and contemporary. I'm pretty sure the contemporary just was a tag within like romance. So sometimes whenever I read a romance, most often than not, it is contemporary romance. And then same thing with fantasy, with historical. Sometimes I've been reading some historical fantasy. So that's been overlapping. And then reading method. So this one I got from Copile. I got this stat from there. Audiobook at 36.5%, ebook 23.1%, mixed media 21.2%, physical 19.2%. I definitely have been leaning on leaning towards audiobooks so far this year and also a lot of like ebooks and just mixed media. I have been struggling getting into more books, just reading books physically, but I feel like in the second half of the year I can try I think I'll be reading some more physical books. Although I still think audiobooks is gonna be a leading factor for sure, and of course just hyper reading. And here's just a graphic here on the screen of all the things that I've said here. Now next up, let's actually talk about series. So on Copile, there's a tab where we can follow like some series. If you wanna track the series you've started, ongoing, DNF'd and finished. So I'll show a graphic here. It's just showing the book series that I, that are only interactive for so far this year and this year only. So as far as started, I started 11. You can already see here that I started reading Rare Bear, Evocation, Spin of Fate, A Ten of Souls of Tea, The Tainted Cup, Small Be a Villain and War Girls. And then I also finished four series so you have Silver Under Nightfall, That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Demon, The Mask of Mirrors, and a series that is a St. Martin's Press title. And I cannot really talk about it. So just wanna put that on there anyways, just to let y'all know for stats wise. Now, as far as ongoing series, we have, I pretty much increased the number to 19. So for this year, I continued the series for The Forever Desert, where the sequel was The Truth of the Aleke. I got that as an arc uh, from Tor.com. Same thing with The Brides of High Hill and Evo. This one is a the fifth installment in the Singing Hill cycle. So 
That one's also an ongoing one. And I, at this point, I think I've officially denecked three series. So Spy Family was one I wasn't sure if I was really gonna come really gonna read the 11th volume but this year came around and i was like you know what i'm not really interested in reading volume 11 so i'm doing nothing spy family the manga series i'll come back to it when the series the manga series is done and then lord of the wilds i'm no longer interested in reading that sequel i'm really i'm disappointed and also really angry with that book so i'm not even gonna bother with the sequel and then Feybound, I was just disappointed with this one. And the announcement for the title of book two has recently released and I'm not interested in checking out that book at all. Now, next up here is my buying and saving tracker. This is a new thing that I wanted to do for myself just to like kind of keep an idea on like what my spending habits when I tend to spend a lot and also save for my library as well. So I'll just put graphs here on the screen. So as far as books that I've acquired, about 100 books, most of it has been physical, but I also been getting like digital books, so like ebooks and audiobooks as well. So the total amount that I have bought books for this year is $1,285.47. But I also have been borrowing about 96 books from my library. And this is a mixture of physical books, audiobooks, and ebooks, and even like duplicated of copies. So whether I borrowed the book physically and the audiobook at the same time, or even at different times, I count that. If I borrowed the book, like a physical book at one point, and then I borrowed it again, and like a few months later, I also count that as well, because again, those are opportunities that I could have bought the book instead. And the total amount that I've saved for my library, which I've calculated from Amazon ebook prices, if I were to buy the audiobook from Libro FM, and of course the list of price of the physical book that's already on the book itself. And it has totaled up to $2,270.92. And then my net overall total is a positive $985.45. Now I'm saying all these numbers just for myself, just to keep track honestly to myself and hold myself accountable as far as how much I'm spending on books and how much I am saving from using my library. So this is just more of a motivation for myself. I'm not saying these numbers to shame anyone. If you spent more than me, if you spent less than me, whether if you borrowed less from your library or borrowed even more from your library, this is not, this is not for, meant for that. I'm just here disclosing it just for myself and also for y'all to just keep track of how much I am buying books. And so far, I'm not fully satisfied with the amounts I have been spending. As much as I love buying books, I've also have been unhauling books, not just books that I've had for like a couple of years, maybe the, in the past year, but I have unhauled books that I bought this year. And I'm not happy that I bought books this year that I've also unhauled in the same year. So I'm trying to make sure to be a lot more cautious as far as the books that I buy, how much of it I buy, if I can get a second hand as well. I'm trying to find different ways to buy books as well, most likely just second hand and used so that I'm not buying these books full priced and really be a lot more cautious in regards to buying special editions of books too because I have been burned more often than not by special editions of books than I have been getting hits, unfortunately. That's it. I'm not here to shame anyone on book buying purchases. If you're a collector, reader kind of thing, that's all on you. That's all y'all. This is just for me and how I just cannot afford to buy books willy nilly. That's all of the stats, that's all of my tracking for the year so far. And I will also make sure to keep track of all these things even continue on to the end of the year as well. So you will also get to know reading goals and stats and all the things later on. Now let's actually get more to the reflections. So this is more of just like from my 2024 goals and plan video. So I'll talk about some of my reading goals, my series TBR, remember my self-destruct TBR, remember that video. I'll link it down below in the video, video description if you have not checked out that video already, but there has been, uh, there's some updates for that TBR, just let y'all know, and also about reading challenges and stuff like that. Let's start off with reading goals. So one of my reading goals actually was just to thoroughly track my reading habits, which as y'all could tell from my stats section, I definitely have been tracking my reading habits. I feel as though I can really track them a little bit more specifically, but Kopal kind of does a lot of the legwork for me. So I've just been using that system and just following through with that. I also put a graphic here as far as some other goals. Reading Shakespeare plays, I have not read any. Reading classics, so far none. Reading translated works, I mean, there have been attempts. However, comma, there have been DNFs. So not making the greatest progress. 
And of course, I have my series finished, reading nonfiction. It's in progress. I've read three out of four. And then these other two goals were not super specific as far as number-wise, but I feel like I've been exploring some self-published works. Not very strong, as you can tell in my graphic here, I have Spell and Be a Villain, Outrun, and Only for the Week. They're not the only self-published works, but they're definitely the more notable ones that I've read so far, but I haven't read as many, so I still need to work on that. Same thing with like exploring romance, horror, and mystery. In the graphic there, you all can see stars in your eyes, supplication, and where the stupid girls lie. And I haven't quite been finding my niche with romance. For the most part, it has been a miss. And as far as horror, I have not been reading as much horror this year so far, but I do want that to change. But it's just that my mind is really not in the headspace for horror. And the mystery, I haven't been grabbing much into mystery. Honestly, there hasn't been much mystery that I'm even interested in, but I'm hoping that when Black or Wayne rolls around, I'll find some Black crime fiction authors that have written mysteries that I'll be interested in. All right, next up is my series TBR that I also mentioned in that goals video. So I'm no longer interested in reading Sherlock Holmes. I, it's just nothing about Sherlock Holmes. I'm just like, uh, no. Uh, the Grace of Kings, I'm still intimidated by, unfortunately. The Mask of Mirrors, yes, I have finally read the Rook and Rose trilogy. War Girls duology is in progress. I did officially start as of my recording doing my reread of Jade City, so that's good at least. Things fall apart in Strange the Dreamer. I'm still not totally sure when I'm going to start reading those series, honestly. But so far, not much actual progress in these series much. Just one I've intimidated, one I've read, one in progress, one I started, one I'm like, nope. And the other two are like question marks. So we shall see about the rest of this year. Because again, The Grace of Kings might be rolled into 2025. But I'm hoping to at least finish the War Goes Duology, make some progress on my Green Bone Saga reread, and we'll see about Things Fall Apart and Strange the Dreamer. Now, I don't know if y'all are waiting for this, but I've there is some progress being made regarding the self-destruct TBR. And by that, I mean I pretty much unhauled nearly a little bit over half of the books already. Yeah, a little bit over half. Seven out of the 12 books I put in that TBR video have been unhauled. The graphic of all the books that have been hauled. If they have a recycling bin emo um, emoji right there, it means it's been recycled. I mean, not recycled, it means it's been unhauled. And there's only five books I'm currently interested in from my self destruct PR. So, you see, what happened was with those books that I unhauled is that I looked at them, I, I kind of wanted to do a quick sample of them to see if I was still even interested in to even read it all. And I said, nope to all of them. Dracula, I'm like, nope, I'm, I'm not interested. Picture Dorn Gray. Nope, I'm not interested in reading that classic. I tried to read Go Tell It on the Mountain during Blackathon. I got really bored, unfortunately, so unhauled. The Stars on Dying, I don't think I'm ever gonna try to read that sci-fi Cleo Cleopatra and Anthony retelling book. I don't care. The Marriage Portrait, that book has been on D has been in DNF status since 2022 and I had no intent and I had no interest in coming back to it. Summer Suns. I didn't want to read the, no, the full-fledged debut novel because I've already read this author's novellas and I don't think I can really handle reading an entire novel by them. So just gonna say no to that. And these vandalites, I also have no actual interest in reading at all. I don't think I'm missing much, honestly. Those are all the books that I'm just like, yeah, I'm not missing much if I can haul them. And the ones I'm like, you know what? I will miss them if I end up on hauling them. And that will be Mexican Gothic, Piranesi, The Sentence, No Gods, No Monsters, and She Would Be King. Those are the books now for the second of the year that I will try my best to get to unless I'll have to unhaul them. For the most part, I don't think I really will unhaul them. At least I will hope not. We shall see though. I can't make any promises to myself, but I really hope that I won't unhaul any of these books. Even if I don't get to them, I'm like, I just tend that I didn't say that, I, you know. We'll just see. We'll see when time comes, what will happen with that remaining TBR now. And now last but certainly not least, we'll talk about reading challenges that I wanted to participate in. I did recall that I wanted to participate in Winterween, which I did. I have a reading vlog for that one. Blackathon, which I did. I have two video diaries and a wrap up for that one. Asian Readathon, two video diaries and a wrap up for that one. Although I did not plan for the Tarot Readathon. So that's a new addition to my reading challenges. And so far I'm enjoying my time with it. So it's fun so far, so far. I'm making some progress with that. Full Moon Readathon, I still plan on participating. For sure, I just need to come up with my TBR since the announcement video has been out now. So I need to 
think of my TBR. Black Queen, I also do want to participate, at least try to participate. I don't think I'll win or really complete it, but I can at least try. Buzzwordathon is also in progress. I'll put a graphic here as far as the books. So I'm just really missing like four books selections here. Yeah, I think the one I really am struggling with though is like a title for with like in the, like the one with like in the title for I think that's the August one. I don't know. I don't even think I'm really interested in any of the books that could fit for that. And then Six Works by Six Friends is also in progress. It's a lot slower in progress though. I've only read one book, Dean after another, and I have currently one of those books checked out for my library. So we shall see about this one. But I do wanna to get to though, how to pronounce Knife, Bichiri, and Strange Grace, since those ones I'm definitely more interested in. And then another reading challenge that I just kind of like decided to participate it is the 2024 reddit fantasy bingo that one's in progress so that one goes from april 1st 2024 to march 31st 2025 and i've already made some pretty good progress with that i'll just show you all the bingo board graphic here that i've made so far in progress i don't know if i'll be able to finish this bingo board before 2025 but i do have at least the first three months of 2025 to finish so definitely a reading goal this is definitely a reading challenge i need to keep an eye out for the next year but yeah that's pretty much all of my reflections and just in conclusion i have been making some progress in things i've definitely been changing some things however comma i definitely need to work on some things for sure like reading transit work i'm not making any progress in that i've been trying but like it's definitely i've definitely have been failing so i need to do better by that hopefully in the next few months i can actually at least read a translated work and finish it instead of dnfing it and of course my self-destruct tbr is definitely falling apart but I at least it's down to five books maybe i could do a reading vlog of reading those books and if i end up dnfing them then like it is what it is not making too much in a dent of my series tbr as well definitely need to work on that a little bit <sighs> as far as my buying and spending habits for sure i just need to be a lot more careful regarding what books I buy so I'm not unhauling them before the end of the year. Or even if years to come, honestly, unless I just lose interest, but I hope to have just some books to stay on the shelves for at least 18 months, please. Unless I read it and I loved it, then it's a different story. But anyways, that is it, y'all. That's all my stats and reflections, thoughts, conclusions on the middle of the year and as far as my reading and, and other reading habits. So y'all can let me know in the comments down below what are your progresses and regarding goals, if you set any goals, if you wanna share about your book buying and savings, like using their library um, habits, feel free. You don't need to get any specific as far as numbers if you don't want to. Any other reading goals y'all have set, but that you also like, okay, maybe I'm actually feeling at this one. I'm making some progress, I completed. You know, I'm just curious about how the middle, how the, your reading year is going so far, like as a whole. You know, and if you made it this far into the video and you don't want to say all that, you want to leave me an emoji instead, you can leave me a graph emoji. It can be a bar graph. It can be the line graph that's going up, the line graph that's going down. Maybe you can use those graphs to pretty much represent your reading year if you want. I don't know. You, you decide what that means, if it means anything. But anyways, thank you all for coming to this video and I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye.